Franklin Roosevelt pledged to end prohibition. And just weeks after his inauguration, at the stroke of midnight on April 7, 1933, saloons could once again pour 3-2 beer. Total repeal of prohibition would come in December. But as midnight approached, St. Louisans were ready for their first legal beer in 13 years. And there, there are two breweries that had opened and, and they were gearing up to meet the demand. It was uh, uh, Falstaff and, and Bush. And there were parties at each brewery. There were um, just uh, thousands of people crowded around. Reporters were out covering uh, all the uh, local night spots at, and, and restaurants that were serving alcohol. And of course, many of them ran out and, and people were staying up all night and it was uh, it was a big deal. A case of Budweiser was delivered to FDR, and August Bush took to the airwaves to proclaim the end of an era. April the 7th is here, and it is a real occasion for thankfulness, marking a newfound freedom for the American people, made possible by the wisdom, foresight, and courage of a great president with the cooperation of an understanding Congress. There is a song in our hearts, it's happy days are here again. Prohibition, a new film by Ken Burns and Lynn Novick, coming this fall to 9 PBS, underwritten in St. Louis by Webster University.